I thought today I'd talk about the value of board games. Now, I don't mean the conventional games such as Trill Pursuit or Scrabble or Monopoly, but I actually mean cooperative strategic games where you and the rest of the players need to work together as a team in order to solve the problems. The aptly named Pandemic is a really good example of this. Now, this is Pandemic Legacy, which is actually a long-term version of the game, which you can play over a series of different months. But the idea behind these games is everybody plays a different role and you work together in order to solve the problem of the game. This one, for example, Forbidden Sky, you have to put together a launch pad and actually launch your rocket to escape. All of the team have different powers and different skills and the game itself throws in different obstacles along the way. The value of board games is immeasurable when it comes to understanding how people can work together. And they are so great for families as well. As a coach, I've even recommended playing these board games as a team so that families can begin to understand how they each think. When it comes to these games, it actually helps to have different skills and different viewpoints because although you may have a plan, if the board changes in some way, somebody else might see something that you didn't. And I find it's a great way for teams and families to begin to appreciate the different things each of them as people bring to the table. A lot of my training is also centered around gamification because I find it so useful for teams to work together in an artificial environment but still have to cooperate because this is a great starting point for discussion. So if you're looking for something to do at the moment, consider some of these board games. They are expensive but they give you a number of hours worth of gameplay. They are a lot of fun and really they're a great way of bringing your family team together.